I think as uh, every golf fan knows right now that the Swedish men's golf has had a great year with Henrik Stenson. Uh, what he did with winning the FedEx Cup by winning the Tour Championship in Atlanta and then winning the race to Dubai by winning in Dubai, it's going to be hard to repeat for anyone in the near future. Well, growing, <laughs> growing up in Sweden, you know, the season is obviously only six, seven months long. You know, I had fun with it. I played uh, winter golf. I was outside when it was freezing outside, but it beat. Uh, it was much better than beating balls inside. You know, into a net ten, ten yards away. But Swedish summers are the best, and I think you made the best out of the season um, that you had. For me, I grew up in the northern part of Sweden, so my golf season is very short. But thanks to the Federation, uh, we have a very good system of junior tournaments. And also when you get to the next level, the Federation does a very good uh, job with the national team program. Obviously, I looked up to Annika growing up. It was hard not to. Now when I'm out on tour and realize how competitive it is out here, it makes it more, even more impressive what she did when she was out on tour and how many times she managed to win out here. Win number 70. Veronica I think Annika was, you know, she probably had a little bit of the tiger factor for women's golf. You know, she started working out and, you know, just pushed, pushed the level of golf out here. She was out there, Lisa Lott Neumann, Sophie, Mimi Yort. You know, we had, we had a lot of uh, good sweets on tour and, you know, just, just seeing how they made it. But obviously Annika was leading the pack. I mean, it's enough that you say Annika. That, that tells you something about her. Uh, she, she's done so much and, uh, yeah, she put Sweden on the map and she, uh, yeah, she has proven that uh, even though we're a little country up in Northern Europe, we can produce very good coffee.